Hey guys, I just want to throw a quick video together real quick on um, your AC unit on the outside. You know, it's summertime down here in the south and you always have things that go wrong with your air conditioner. And one of the main reasons that your air conditioner might stop working or uh, get froze up uh, could be your outside unit. And a lot of times from cutting grass and just being outside, it'll get clogged with stuff and so you need to make sure that this is clean um, you can get somebody to come out and do it but you know they're going to charge you probably at least 150 dollars to come out and maintenance this but this is a real easy thing to do uh, you just got to know how to take your outside unit apart there's a lot of screws usually you just got to remember how it goes back together and piece it back sometimes that can be a pain but it's real easy to do i'm going to show you real quick uh, this isn't going to be a long video but uh, I thought you might want to know an easy way to make sure your unit is running uh, through the summer. And uh, this is actually a really good thing to do before summer hits. Unfortunately, this is midsummer right now. It's getting hot. I walked out here and I noticed mine was pretty clogged. And so I'm just going to run it with the hose. It'll probably take about 30 minutes to do from, you know, beginning to end. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Leave some comments, hit subscribe if you like it. Let me know how it goes for you. Before you get started, you want to make sure you disconnect any of your power. So you should have a quick disconnect on the outside right here, right by the unit. So just go right here, pull this out. I usually just put it on top, try to keep it out of the way, close this so it doesn't get wet in there. And uh, this will just stop any power that's coming to it. Um, all this stuff should be waterproof on the inside, but you do want to make sure that you do that. Uh, just to be on the safe side if you do not have a uh, quick disconnect on the outside you should that's that's code um, go inside turn your unit off or even go to the breaker and find out where it's at um, i would actually go to the breaker instead of just turning the unit off on the outside uh, i mean on the inside so uh, just so you're safe you don't get electrocuted for your fan that's on the top you know mine i can disconnect it but i'm not going to worry about disconnecting and i just kind of move it around on the lid and uh, wherever i'm cleaning i just move the top around from here or there uh, to where it's out of the way so i can actually clean instead of just disconnecting it so here's what we're looking at so i've already cleaned off the left side over there but here's the front and you see how nasty that is a lot of that uh, you know that's preventing some good airflow that's coming in and it could eventually cause you issues uh, with your um, your AC unit on the outside so it's just best to come in here and clean it so basically what I do is I start spraying from the inside so I'll come in right here I'll spray with the hose and kick it out and if you see you know how much cleaner that is on the outside so that's what you want it to look like you know you'll have some stuff built up after you spray it and then you just want to come on the outside and spray it all down I start from the top and I go down to the bottom but if you look at the difference between that and this and you can go ahead and see how much this will impact how much airflow gets into your house and make sure your house stays nice and cool So I want to show you as I'm spraying here on the outside, I kind of spray down instead of spraying into it. And that way anything on the top that you flush through is just going to flow down to the bottom there. I mean, you can spray back through, but it'll, then you have to come back down the other side and hit it again. So I just kind of spray down here. And if you see, I got a lot of grass that's been in. Uh, I've had a lot more than that, a lot came out, but you just got to be careful when you're cutting your grass for weed eating. So let me show you these screws down here you're going to have to put in. So they're all over the place, around the bottom, you got some on the end right there, around the edge. So what I would do is just put those in, 
but don't fasten them down all the way at first. So you see this is flimsy and it allows you to um, adjust where you need the screw. So I've been struggling with it a little bit, getting it back in because it's so flimsy. See this thing is just real light uh, sheet metal. And see, see all the holes for the screws. I mean, there's a bunch. Um, so when you go when you go to put it in, just put them in a little bit to make it secure, so you have room to adjust it, and then come back through and hit it with your uh, screwdriver. And I uh, I use a powered one. It just makes it a lot easier. You know, get you a little. This is a 10 millimeter on the end for mine. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to put it in than trying to do it with a screwdriver uh, by hand. I've, I've done it that way. But anyway, just a point, a uh, tip to uh, help you out on this. All right, and then I'll also go in here, and it gives me a chance to come in here and grab some of these leaves and junk that gets in there. I should have did it before I got it all wet. But anyway, you could go in there and clean all that out. So it's done. Uh, let me show you real quick. Major difference so much cleaner i could even kind of see through it it feels like in a sense all right that's all there is to it all you got to do now is put it back together make sure all your screws are in place and then go over here to your disconnect oh where is it it's over here somewhere there it is go over here to your disconnect and uh, once you get it all in place all the screws back in place and just go and uh, put that uh, fuse back in and crank down on it and it should uh, start back up. All right, good luck. I hope this helps you for this summer.